episode 69 of Flick, James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent. Today, I will be reviewing a biopic of the 16th president of the United States, and that movie is Lincoln, directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Daniel Day-Lewis as President Abraham Lincoln. So we started off this historical drama with Union soldiers in the rain. In, the, in a discussion with President Abraham Lincoln, our title character, here played by Daniel Day-Lewis. So this American Civil War is now in its fourth year, and Lincoln has been re-elected to serve a second term. Man, this thing is proving to be historically accurate of the period so far. Lincoln is now talking about bringing slavery of African Americans to an end, which to me sounds like a good thing because slavery was a terrible thing back then. So the then potential 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution is now is what is now being discussed with Lincoln's cabinet. We now shift to the then 38th United States Congress where a debate is going on about the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution. Look at that! There is a field in Virginia that they don't call no man's land for nothing as it's been part of a war zone. We now shift to the U.S. Army headquarters somewhere in Virginia where soldiers are, go are going over the progress of the Civil War. We are now an hour into this movie and so far I am liking all the reenactment and recreation of the period including Daniel Day Lewis's performance as Lincoln. Ulysses S. Grant has, has now made it onto the scene, and little did he, did he himself know back then that a few years later, General Grant would be elected to the presidency. Lincoln has, been, has now been notified that in 10 days' time, the 13th Amendment may be passed by the U.S. Congress. Wow! Just pen and paper to keep in touch and to write down stuff? That's because back then, computers and social networking hadn't been invented yet. Horse pulled carriages for local transportation. That's because back then, cars hadn't even taken to the streets yet. Mary Lincoln, here played by Sally Field, is now in a conversation with her husband about the then ongoing Civil War. The vote on the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution has now officially begun in Congress. We are now two hours into this movie and so far many members of Congress have voted for the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution and some have voted against it. It is now April 1865 and the Civil War along with this movie is about to draw to a close. Oh dear! Lincoln has been shot at Ford's Theater. Too bad for him as he would, he would die the next day on April 15, 1865. As this histor historical drama draws to a close, we are treated to flashbacks of Abraham Lincoln. Overall, Lincoln is a fantastic true-to-life depiction of America's 16th president. Join me next time when I review The Cabin in the Woods. I'm Flick, James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent out there.